Amory, the details on this, we know that environmental policies are high on his agenda, but it's the time frame of, of this $2 trillion narrative that matters, isn't it? Yeah, Mattis, and it's also the amount. He's really putting the green in this green deal. It's a lot of money, and it's a lot quicker. His plan is to invest $2 trillion over four years on clean energy, and this is according to sources familiar with the announcement we're going to get later today. But that's a massive jump from the more modest $1.7 trillion over 10 years that Biden had originally proposed last year when he was campaigning for the nominee. So part of this proposal includes setting 100 percent clean electricity standard by 2035 and the creation of a climate conservation court modeled after the World Relief Program's FDR created during the Great Depression. It's also going to be looking to put more Americans behind the wheels of EVs with the taxpayer enticed by cash vouchers to trade in the gas-powered cars for electric vehicles. Um, but also, it's a big nod to those in the Democratic Party who really view this as a key towards uh, moving the party and their agenda forward. It's a nod especially to the Washington Governor Jay Inslee and Senator Elizabeth Warren. Inslee really focused on climate change during the campaign. He proposed this 100 percent clean electricity standard by 2035, and then Warren later endorsed it. We spoke about this last week, this challenge that Joe Biden has convincing progressive voters that he hasn't left them short, while at the same time taking moderate steps um, on a bet that he can attract Republicans and independents weary of the Trump administration. And I think it goes without saying that this certainly contracts, uh, contrasts with the Trump administration's uh, more supportive campaigning for the fossil fuel industry, Manus.